let's go camping. It's good. Good, good, good. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, yeah. I just made it to the first place that I wanted to check out. Um, it's a super small state park uh, out here in Eastern Oregon. It's called, uh, yeah, White River Falls State Park. And it's this like really cool waterfall. I've seen a bunch of different pictures of it before and it looks really pretty. Um, and it was kind of on the way to the main area I wanted to check out tonight. So decided to stop here um, and go check it out. Not really much of a plan today, kind of just out exploring and figuring it out as I go. So yes, this waterfall is super pretty and I would love to do some drone filming here, but just with the weather, the wind, and how cold it is, I don't think it's the best time to do that. So I'm gonna keep driving, go down to my main destination for the night, which is hopefully gonna be somewhere along the Deschutes River. Um, I've heard that there's a like 20 mile long road with a whole bunch of different like BLM campsites. Um, so hopefully one of those will have a nice spot to spend the night. Let's go find ourselves a campsite. All right, let's stop for a second and check out this view. Super pretty, super windy, let's keep going. So this is the road um, where I was planning on finding a campground. It's just called like this BLM road. Um, and I think it's like 20 miles and it just looks like on the maps that there are a whole bunch of campsites up and down it. So um, let's go check it out and see if we can find a cool spot. Less than a minute down the road and I'm looking at this. It says 25 minute drive, but I feel like it's gonna be a lot longer with uh, views like this.
Now what I'm curious about is there are quite a few of these like pull-offs that you can see um, just right over here, just off the side of the road. There aren't any, no overnight parking signs there. I feel like maybe some of those might be options for campsites. More pull-offs. There are so many along this road. I've never seen this many options to just pull off and camp along the side of the road. Um, and like none of these areas have no camping signs. I mean, in a pinch, I feel like you could totally camp here, right? I don't see why not. I feel like it would be super easy to just kind of like stealth camp here for the night. It's not as windy here as it was over at uh, White Falls State Park. But right now, just getting all this stuff set up. While I'm setting up all of this gear too, um, I don't think I, I mentioned it yet, but if you are new to this video, first of all, welcome. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Basically, I've been traveling around a lot, um, around Oregon, I should say to a bunch of different like state parks and just really scenic locations. And I've been taking out my drones. Um, these are FPV drones. They stand for first person view drones. They're unique in the sense that I wear a set of goggles when I'm flying and I can see exactly what the drone sees. And this allows me to um, go farther away, go through smaller gaps, um, dive down mountains, all type of like I can get all these super unique angles that I couldn't get just with like the standard drone. So anyway, yeah, uh, welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, there are a couple other videos in this series on my channel. Um, so if you're interested, I'll put links down in the description. You guys can go check them out. Um, but yeah, basically I've just been traveling to different locations, uh, filming some aerial footage and doing some truck camping along the way. I have a 2002 Toyota Sequoia that I kind of built out I wouldn't say it's like a full camper build. It's more just like a bed frame uh, and some drawers. But I built it out in last spring, like April, May, June. I've been using it a bunch to travel and make these videos. And um, that's kind of a little bit of background and info about my channel. Still no sun on the mountains yet. I'm gonna keep driving because there's still a whole lot of road left to explore. And I kind of wanted to just see if there are any more options for um, campsites or places to sleep. Um, that are maybe just a little bit farther off the road. The sun is poking out. I found another spot to fly. Um, I'm thinking just going along the river here and then maybe up into the hillsides there. I think this could be a cool spot. So for whatever reason, that last spot I was trying to fly, I didn't make it too far away before the video feed started to drop down pretty low um, to the point where I didn't want to go much farther. So I'm not sure what was going on there. I kept driving farther down the road. I found this pretty sweet spot. Um, and I'm gonna give it a second shot here. I just tried another flight out here and pretty much the same thing happened. Um, I made it about like 100 yards away and the video feed just got really, really bad. So I'm not sure what exactly is going on. Um, I've had issues with this drone in the past. I just swapped over the GoPro to a drone that I've used a lot before. I'm gonna try out another flight here now. All right, I'm super happy. I, uh, like I said, I switched the GoPro over to this other drone that I've used a whole bunch before. I used it at Smith Rock, at E. Coli State Park, pretty much all of the trips. It's kind of like my main um, reliable drone that I like to use. So swapped over the GoPro to that one. Um, sure enough, no issues at all. I'm not sure yet if I'll stay here at this big pull off. Um, right along the river or if I'll keep driving farther into the canyon, but um, this is uh, probably my favorite option so far. So I just found this spot that you can see behind me. I'm gonna try and fly up here through these rocks, maybe try and go up along the top and stuff and just check out this area. Um, this was pretty much just around the corner. 
it's definitely blocked a lot more um, just because there is a big hill over here so the sun is kind of down below it now so it's shaded down here but there's still some light up on this hillside so um, let's go up there and check it out <laughs> Super awesome. I just finished up doing um, just two different flights up kind of over these hillsides. Super cool view from up there, kind of looking down on the river and everything. If you watched my last video, you know I was talking about how cold it was. Definitely colder out here tonight. I just came around the corner a little bit and did a couple of drone flights at this location here. It's only three o'clock, but the light is uh, already gone off the mountains. I would have loved to fly just a little bit longer, but um, at the same time, just glad I was able to get a couple flights in today. It seems like I have a couple of good options tonight for a campsite. I still haven't decided which one I actually want to spend the night at. Since it is only three o'clock, I'm just gonna spend some more time driving down and exploring this road. If I'm being honest, I really don't know where I wanna spend the night. Like, there are just so many different places out here. It's getting dark quickly, but I think I settled on this spot. You can see behind me, Sequoia has an amazing view just like the other ones. And uh, yeah, I think this is where I'll spend the night. If you watched my last video, truck camping, about this time of night when I was trying to make my dinner, I pretty much found out that my stove wasn't working and ended up having to sit out in the cold and eat some cold dinner. Uh, I brought a different stove today and I'm happy to say that it's working. So I get to enjoy a warm dinner. All right guys, there isn't a ton left to do tonight. It's getting cold and it's already dark, so I'm gonna climb in the truck, but thanks for coming along with me today and I will see you guys tomorrow.
morning guys, it is officially day two and I am on the search for some morning light. I'm just driving around now and trying to find where the sun is gonna hit some of these mountains and then hopefully I'll be able to do some more drone flying this morning and um, capture some more aerial footage to share with you guys. Unfortunately, it's getting cloudy. Uh, the sun is almost fully blocked by clouds now, which means that we pretty much lost all of the light that was hitting these hills. Um, nothing I can do about it though, and it's still a really pretty morning out here. So as I start to kind of work my way out, back down this road and uh, on my way back home, I'm just gonna stop at different places I see that I think might be interesting. I still have a couple batteries left to use up, and even without light, it's still a great place to fly. It's almost 10 o'clock now, and it's still below 30 degrees out here. It takes a while to warm up in this valley, I guess. On my drive out, the sun decided to come out, and uh, of course I'm out of batteries, but it is a gorgeous morning and there's no wind right now, so I decided to park here for a second, uh, recharge some batteries. It'll take like 30 minutes or so, uh, maybe a bit more, and then hopefully the sun will still be out and I can get some more flying in. Alright guys, thank you for watching. This was another great trip out here on the Deschutes River. I think this has to be my favorite area for camping. There are just so many options as you guys saw earlier in this video. So many pull-offs along with campgrounds as well. So lots and lots and lots of options if you want to come out here and camp either dispersed or at a campsite. 
I'm not sure about the summertime, but at least, at least out here in the winter, it is super quiet. Yes, it's cold, but if you bring the right gear, it really isn't that bad. After I get all this packed up, I'll be heading back home. I figured I'd rather uh, put everything away out here in the sunshine than probably in the rain at home. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of coming along with me on this trip. If you guys have a place uh, you'd recommend either for truck camping or flying drones, or it's just a really pretty place, definitely drop a comment below, send me a message on Instagram. I'd love to hear from you guys. So with all of that being said, I will see you guys next time.